Hi, welcome to this tutorial. I'm going to be walking you through making a death and respawn system in Unreal Engine. So I'm starting off in the third person template and just open your content browser, left click to make a new folder and call this blueprints. Then open that up, left click again and make a blueprint class actor. I'm going to call this BP obstacle. Open that up. Now we're going to add a cube to start off with and just thin this out so it's a bit more like that. And you can also make it a bit longer. Next add a box collision and then also just transform that so it's just on top of the box, of the cube, sorry. And make sure that it's on top of the cube like that, so they're all. Next, add a rotating movement. You can mess around with the rotation rate and stuff like that, but this will be fine for us for now. Compile, and then with the box collision selected, scroll down and click on component begin overlap. And that'll take you to the event graph. You can just drag out of here and go cast to BP third person character. And then out of other actor, just plug that into object. Next, we are going to spawn a meta at location. This is going to spawn an explosion at the point where the obstacle meets the player. But we need to know what point that is. So out of third person character, get the actor location. And then that location can just plug straight into there. Okay. And then I want this to then restart the game uh, after you're killed. So I'm going to add a delay to start off with. Make that around three seconds. And then after that delay is complete, we are going to open the level. Just basically restart the game. And this level will be called um, third person map. Okay, so now we can give that a go. Just drop the obstacle into the game. Oh, sorry, one more thing. We need to actually choose our emitter. And if you just click on that, I'm going to choose the explosion. Okay, now just hit play. And as you can see, there's an explosion and the game restarts. Um, when you collide with that box. But a couple of things. First of all, we only want the emitter to spawn once. So just before the emitter, we're gonna get a do once node. And also we are going to want the character to actually die instead of just keep moving around. So for that, I'm going to open up my third person character, BP third person character. Just open that up. I'm going to make a new custom event. So just search add custom event. I'm going to call this death. So then from death, we are going to disable movement just to stop the character from being able to, the player from being able to move around after they're dead. And then out of there, we are going to simulate physics and just click simulate. Okay, I'm gonna compile that. So then just come back into BP obstacle. And before the do once, we are going to 
just type death and that is going to create a reference to the um, to BP third character to that custom event we can now compile sorry <laughs> get get the BP third person character and stick that into the car uh, target then compile now you'll see something happens but the physics isn't quite right here so open back up the BP third person character and click on your mesh character mesh and we're going to scroll down until you see collision presets and just change this from character mess, mesh to ragdoll and another thing is we want the camera to follow the character after they're dead so just drag the character boom on top of the mesh like that and now if we try this out you'll see we die, we flop down um, and then the game restarts. So yeah, um, play around with that, I hope you enjoyed, bye.